Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Sunday edition of TV Talk because I've been working constantly lately. I haven't had a break. I've been going to work for my first job, coming home, eating, going to my second job, sleeping. And it's been that way for the last two days. So today is my first day that I didn't have to go to my second job. So I have been, you know, breathing a little bit. So I haven't actually seen every episode of every TV show that I watched that aired last week because I haven't had time to watch them yet. So the ones I haven't seen are Grimm, Grey's Anatomy, Elementary, Up All Night, and Switched to Birth. So it's five shows I gotta get caught up on. But I will, and I'm sure they were all awesome, especially Grimm. I hear that it's a really good episode, so I will be sure to check those out. But until then, let's get started on our newest TV talk. I got my big ol' list going on right here. And, okay, last week was really good television. Like, it was... It was crazy good. I, I I loved every moment of the TV this week. So it was hard to choose my top five. Um, so I put Revenge in at number five. And the only reason Revenge is in at number five is because there were so many great episodes of TV that it was hard to choose. And it's a testament to how great the TV week was that Revenge made it to top five because... It was really, really good. It was crazy good. And let's all just take a moment to stare at Nolan's abs and his new haircut because that was beautiful. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I loved it. I love... I like that there's this new character, Aiden. I like that Nolan is getting a new love interest this season. Although I'm still a team Nolan and Emily Shipper. No M's all the way. I love them together. I love their little moment where they were cuddling on a couch without really cuddling, but Nolan still made it look like they were cuddling because he's like that. I just, I liked the whole episode. I liked everything about it. I even liked that Victoria isn't dead. But, uh, they could have done more to make that... <laughs> Oh my god, Victoria's alive! The only thing that I did was like, oh, Victoria's really alive. Cool. <laughs> so that was number five, Revenge. Good episode. Loved it. Love, love that show. Okay. Number four is a tie, and the only reason it's a tie is because Raising Hope and New Girl both managed to propel my uh, couples forward without actually propelling one of them forward. Okay, um, on Raising Hope, Jimmy and Sabrina got engaged. Congratulations, guys! I'm very excited for you. I like this whole them being engaged storyline because I like them together. They have a great dynamic. And the um, <clears throat> season 2, episode 14, uh, when they first get together for Valentine's Day, is still my absolute favorite episode of the series. So this comes in now a close second. And New Girl gets in this list because of all the uh, Jess and Nick action that we had this week without actually having any Jess and Nick action. Although the very last scene when Jess and Sam go to make out, like, on a bed, I really thought that was Nick for a minute there, and I was like, wait, oh, it's Sam, damn it. But it was good. Number three. Let's talk about it. It was Heart of Dixie. I loved this week's episode. I actually liked this whole Lemons going on her own journey thing. Last year she was so whiny and bitchy and controlling and she, just, she wasn't fun. So this year we're going to get Lemon in a much more fun way because she's going on an independence journey which is really fun and I'm excited to go along on that journey with her and I love that uh, I love that Zoe pulled a Kelly Taylor and picked herself Whereas, really, she picked sex <laughs> over love, so I kind of enjoy that because I'm a team Wade fan. I don't get George at all. He is not fun. He's not cute, but he can sing, which apparently they're going to feature in an episode coming up soon, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, I was excited about the end when he's like, my hat wasn't even in the ring, but my pants could be. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would enjoy that. <laughs> okay, number two. Once upon a time! Oh my god, it was back, it was back, it was back! I was so excited that it's back because I love that show. I love Snow and I love Charming, although I don't like that they're now separated. What what, what are you doing? And it's actually going to air in like 50 minutes because it's Sunday and it's 8 o'clock right now, so it's actually going to air soon. <laughs> 
Um, but I'm excited for it because I love that show. And the first episode back was amazing. Like, the writing, the dialogue, the special effects, everything. But you know what the best part of that show was? It. But you know what the best part of that episode was? Princess Aurora and Prince Philip. Julian Morris and Sarah Bulger. I love you both. Sarah, um, she played on The Cheaters as Mary, and Mary was my favorite character. And Julian Morris, everybody knows as Ren from Pretty Little Liars. I know him from a few other things, too. I mean, he's been in, like, Sorority Row and couple other things, but he is awesome, and I love him, and his accent, and Team Renser. Toby's A. Nobody likes him. Jesus. So yeah, I was excited. Good episode. Great job. Can't wait till, you know, 50, or, well, actually 48 minutes goes by, so yay. Okay, finally, let's talk about our number one. Okay, you guys have to see this. Okay, when I make up the list, I always give the show's a out of five star rating. My number one got ten stars. <laughs> Glee. Do you see that right there? Glee. 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 There, there's no words to describe the amazing Emmy award winning performances that we watched this week from one Leah Michelle, one Corey Monteith, one Darren Chris, and definitely one Chris Culver. They, all four of them, just brought it so hard that I was, I was hysterical. Like, it was just, it was crazy. And the writing was great. And oh my god, those performances, the song choices, the emotion and that teenage dream that just made everybody want to kill themselves. It was just so, so good. This whole episode was just, God! And then they're taking it away for a whole month and now we don't get any new episodes until November 8th. But on November 8th, we get some Mercedes, some, who do we get? Mercedes, Mike, and Beast are all going to make appearance, so yay for them. I'm excited to see, not so much Mercedes, I could care less about her, like honestly, I don't care. But I'm excited for some Tina and Mike action, and I'm excited for some Coach Beast, because I love Coach Beast. And her performance of Mean with Puck was probably one of my favorites ever. It's, it's, I love her. So, those are my top five. Love them all. Fabulous shows. So, I'm not really sure about an episode that I don't really like this week. I actually liked most of them, but I'm gonna, since I always choose an episode, I'm gonna give it to Two Broke Girls and Guys With Kids. It's kind of a tie. They were both, they were okay, but they were boring. Honestly, they were boring. It wasn't anything. They were just meh. And I finally decided to give up on animal practice. I watched five minutes and I realized I wasn't even watching this week's episode so I'm not it's x'd off my list it's not going to be on anymore premiere week is now over what premieres did you like the best I would have to give my premiere week gold star of approval to Grey's Anatomy since that episode I was gone <gasps> the entire time because I'm R.I.P. Mark I love him. Mark and Lexi are my favorites, and now they're both gone, so screw you guys. But at least I'm going to get some Jackson and April awesomeness, so A plus on that. I need some Jackson and April if you're going to take away Mark and Lexi. So that was my week in review. I will see you guys next week. Stay tuned for my Halifax clothing haul. I got part one up of my birthday haul, but I got part two filmed, and it's going to come up tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving to all of my Canadians. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a great night.